Hi students. In the last video, we covered cash transactions and how to record them in Myob. Uh, two of the basic ones we went over were spending cash and receiving cash. And you do them in the spend money and receive money uh, options in the banking command center. The next thing that we're going to talk about is bank reconciliations. At the end of each month, we receive something known as a bank statement. And this is what one would look like. So I've just created this one for our purposes. Um, it's not completely accurate in that uh, it's only showing from the 26th to the 31st of March, um, but it's saying for the month of March. Um, we're only gonna deal with a few transactions here. We have some deposits. We have five deposits here, uh, and they're all in the credit column. We have five cash payments, and they're all in the debit column, and then we have some bank charges as well. Over on the right, we have a running balance of the bank account. So you can see the closing balance of our bank account at the end of March is 1690.7590. Now, a key thing to remember is that this is what the bank is saying our closing balance should be. We don't actually have any confirmation that the bank is correct at this point. So what we do is something known as a bank reconciliation. To do it in Myob, you go banking, reconcile accounts, choose the bank account because that's what we're trying to reconcile. Put in the closing bank statement date, which is 31st of March 12. Put in the closing uh, statement balance, which is 1690790 cents. And then we have to start comparing our records to the bank's records and note any differences that may occur. All right, so we've got $64 uh, for freight as a withdrawal, and it happened on the 29th of March. Now, if I look at the bank statement, I can't see anything for the 29th of March, but I can see $64 cash payment on the 31st. When you're reconciling the bank account, it's not always going to be the case that the dates match up. So long as they're fairly close and the amounts are right, then you can tick it off. Now the way we tick it is by clicking this one here, or we can actually just click on the dollar amount over here, which I usually find to be easier. So let's let's tick off the rest of these if, if they're on the bank statement. So $104.70, $104.70, so we tick that one. 929.92, there it is. 230.971, we've got that. We've got 203.309 as well. And you'll get quick at this uh, with the more practice you, you have. And then we've got bank charges of $50. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to delete those bank charges. It's going to give us some practice at dealing with differences between our records and the bank statement. Now the bank charges, they're not the only difference here, are they? We've got five withdrawals, but we have nothing in the deposits column. But the bank statement says we should have you know, quite, quite a lot of deposits. So something has gone wrong. And this is one of the most common errors that students make when they're dealing with cash transactions. They'll go to banking correctly, they'll go to receive money correctly, and they'll group everything with undeposited funds. But then they'll forget to do the bank deposit. It's very important to remember to do that step. So let's do it now. Prepare bank deposit. Now all of this happened on the 26th. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to tick them, and then I'm going to click record. Now, so long as you've got the correct bank account up here, that's all you've got to do. It's a very simple step, but it's, it's easily forgotten. So if I go back into reconcile accounts now and put in my information at the top here, you can see that the deposit that I just did has shown up. Now, it's a good idea to confirm that this 1162222 is the sum of the deposits on the bank statement. So we'll check that. Eleven six two two twenty two. All right, so we can tick that off, and those are all ticked as well in our heads. So we're out of balance by fifty dollars, which is the bank charges I deleted. So what this is saying is that. The bank thinks 
that they have charged us $50 for bank charges, but we haven't got it in our accounts yet. This is the point where you ask yourself the question, is the bank right or are our books right? If we think our books are right, then we need to contact the bank and, and sort out the problem. But in this case, because it's bank charges, we can be fairly confident that the bank knows what they're talking about and that this $50 should be in our records. The quickest way to add bank charges is to click Actions, Bank Entry, put in $50 under the Service Charges area, make sure the correct date's there, which it is in this case. The Expense Account, we're going to choose the Bank Charges uh, Expense Account, put that in the memo. Now there is no GST on bank charges. What we're going to choose is Free, FRE, and click Record. And that's it, so that's recorded now, it's showing up, and it's automatically been ticked. Our out of balance is zero. Now, so long as this new statement balance has been entered correctly, our out of balance being zero means that we're done. Our bank account reconciles. Our books agree with the bank statement. So, that's how you reconcile the bank account. Uh, all we need to do is click reconcile, and then reconcile and it's done, okay? Um, so at the end of entering cash transactions, if you have an exam or something like that, you'll be doing a bank reconciliation.